So this is a mid layer. And this is also a mid layer. And even though they can look very different, they all serve the same purpose, and that is to keep you warm. So today it's going to be all about mid layers. Stay tuned. So, Sophia, what defines a mid layer? Well, just to get uh, get you orientated, uh, closest to your body, you have a, um, a base layer, and then comes your mid layer, and then uh, uh, far out is the shell layer. So it's the layer in between, uh, and basically uh, you wear it to keep yourself warm. Yeah. That, so the middle keeps you warm, and like the base layer and the outer layer, the shell layer, keeps you dry, pretty much. Exactly, exactly. So what is it that actually keeps you warm then? It is actually the air pockets. So when you have trapped air, that is actually the best insulation um, that you can possibly get. Then we have framed it, the, the mid layer, keeping your body warm, retaining the heat, but letting out the moisture. Exactly. But the good thing, I mean, mid layers, as it is about uh, keeping your body warm. There is, mm. I mean, no limit to how many mid layers you can put on pretty much. It, it is what pretty much fits under your sh uh, shell layer. So, but let's talk a little bit more about the, the different type of materials. So, uh, like 50, some 50 years ago, the outdoor industry was kind of revolutionized when, with the introduction of the modern fleece material. Uh, it's like a yarn spun from polyester that is flat and uh, is uh, very hydrophobic. So it repels water kind of in itself, which makes it drying really fast. But it's also woven into a fluffy construction that can trap air and retain the heat from the body. So uh, that's a really useful material thanks to that. And it's also very lightweight, which is a very good uh, property for outdoor use. Mm. How about the wool that you're wearing? Yeah, I'm wearing a wool, uh, wool shirt and the wool is a little bit different from the synthetic materials. And also it's, uh, it keeps the odor away a little bit better than the synthetic materials. So there you have two properties that are a little bit yeah. uh, different between the two of them. One other difference is of course that wool is a natural and renewable material uh, and polyester is a man-made and uh, in a sense uh, non-renewable source of the material at least. You can also combine the two materials into uh, a mixed material so that you get a little bit the best of both sides. Of course there are other materials that you can use as a mid-layer as well. You have the down and you also have the synthetic insulation. Uh, but that we're going to talk about a little later. All right, that's a little bit about material. So, but uh, there's more to a mid-layer than the material. Yes, uh, and you, I suppose you're thinking about the construction. Exactly. Yes, and there are some different features uh, that at least that I think of uh, when I choose the type of uh, garments when yeah. I'm going out trekking. And uh, here you can see, well, you have the, the hood, I don't. Yeah, you have like a plain sweater. Yes. Uh, the hood gives you some advantages in terms of uh, controlling and regulating he heat insulation. So, I mean, protects your neck yes. uh, and your head and two areas that are super good to regulate when you want to control your temperature. Yes. I have a jacket style, so I can actually zip it up and have it open. Whereas if you want to regulate with yours, if you're getting too warm. Yeah, I have to take it all off. Exactly. So what type of jacket is that? So I'm wearing the Keb hooded mm -hmm. fleece. Um, and. Uh, as mentioned, it's like a polyester and wool mix, and I would like to, I'd use this for a lot of different activities. I think it's super versatile. Um, so for every, uh, it always joins me on multi-day treks, pretty much. I use it for skiing in the winter, it can come on the boat in the summer or on a kayak trip. Uh, this is a favorite. What are you wearing? Uh, this is a Örvik Scandinavian sweater. I would use it for if I'm going out on a lighter day trek 
like this uh, in, the, in the forest. Uh, I mean, for a day trek, it doesn't really matter um, how much I bring out uh, because I don't need the tent and the sleeping bag in my backpack. So I can take a, an item that is a little bit bulky. It doesn't matter. But you mentioned like kayaking, skiing and those type of activities yeah. that you are quite likely to get wet both from from the outside and from, from inside out. Uh, those are the activities that I will not bring this uh, no. uh, this sweater to. So uh, this is a shirt. Uh, it's the Canada shirt, and it is a mixture of uh, synthetics and wool. And as you can feel here, Kelly, it's it's super uh, soft. It's super soft. It withstand the wind a little bit it, better. It has a little bit uh, tighter woven structure. It, exactly, and especially compared to this one that is. Uh, let's air uh, through both ways uh, very, very quickly. Okay, so we have two more uh, suggestions for mid layers. I'm wearing the Abisco padded vest, which is a synthetic insulation, very thin, uh, and also in a vest construction, so no arms, which uh, gives me freedom of movement, but retaining the heat on the core of my body. The biggest advantage with the synthetic insulation is that it is quite insensitive to moisture. It can actually uh, retain heat and keep me warm, even if it is a little bit moistured. Mm. What you're wearing? I don't know. <laughs> well, obviously it's a down jacket and the advantage with a, with a down is that it's, uh, it's very lightweight. Um, when the down is dry, it, uh, it traps a lot of air, so it, uh, it keeps the, the body temperature warm. The disadvantage with it compared to the synthetic materials is when it gets wet, or if it gets wet, uh, you're going to lose uh, all the air. Uh, it's going to be totally flat and you will have no insulation left. So you have to be a little bit more cautious about how you use it and making sure you're using a shell layer in case uh, the weather goes bad or if you're sweating a lot, you have to take it off. Uh, so you have to uh, pay a little bit extra uh, attention to that. But when the material is dry, you have a super good insulation from it. Yeah, and I mean,